Hello, folks, and welcome back to Chris Wine Africa. Pardon me if I'm a little confused. I suspect you may be confused as well. Is she or isn't she? Did she or didn't she? What am I talking about? I'm talking about the firebrowning controversial member of the Democratic Alliance from Parliament, Pumzile Van Damme, who claims to have resigned from the party on the 20th of May after she resigned her position as a member of Parliament over some internal disputes. Here we are a day later on the 21st of May, and no, she hasn't resigned. So what's the story? Uh, just to make sure there's no fake news here, let's just say exactly what was reported yesterday by multiple news sources. This one from the Daily Maverick. Pumzile van Damme has resigned as a member of parliament and as a Democratic Alliance member. She confirmed on Thursday evening. This was not an easy decision to make, and it's done so with a heavy heart. Pumzile van Damme on Thursday as she announced her resignation as a member of parliament and from her political party, the official opposition Democratic Alliance. Back in 2014, she became a member of Parliament, the party's national spokesman, as well as its shadow minister at the age of just 31. After the 2019 general election, she retained her seat in Parliament once again, became shadow minister for communications, where she claims, if you read her Twitter account, to be an expert on misinformation. <laughs> How do you become an expert on misinformation? I made some comments about her earlier this week because of her giddiness and convincing Facebook to testify before Parliament, um, acting as if uh, Facebook is something that she needs to show fealty to and be obsequious towards. It was a bit disappointing. She has done some interesting things and also been someone who's made a significant impact in South African politics. Uh, early, or previously, she uh, revealed the Bell Pottinger organization's disinformation campaign, its effort to racialize South African society. And for that, uh, many people will be grateful for her efforts there. But let's take a look at what really happened here. So she said she resigned on the 20th. And she said, to be clear, I will not be joining another political party, nor will I be using my time to launch attacks on the DA. I leave on my own terms, having made my own decision. Nonetheless, in a climate of rumors and the need to create heroes and villains, my resignation as an MP is not because the DA is a so-called racist party, but because of a clique of individuals. And in order not to make the good women and men still in the DA suffer, I will not delve further into this. But today, the 21st of May, I remain a member of the Democratic Alliance. Pumzile van Damme says she does remain a member. I remain a member of the DA. I've not relinquished my membership, nor have I made any indication that I have. I'm sorry. Didn't you just say exactly that the day before? I'm a little confused. I'm a little confused, as the rest of us are. Well, there you have it. Now, as I predicted, not, not exactly a rocket science sort of prediction here. We already see the commentary coming out from those who are race merchants. Someone named Matlasa Mahalaza uh, said Zilfan Dam's departure will be felt. She was okay with being the lone voice fighting for the SABC's independence and against the often politically engineered instability at the broadcaster. Okay, fair enough. As for the DA, the voters will have their say on the anti-black experiment. Here we go again. Race merchants. What does race have to do with this? <clears throat> Nothing. And Pumzile van Damme herself said as much. Unlike Herman Mashaba, unlike Musi Maimani and the race mercantilism in blaming their failures and their discord on race, to her credit, Pumzile van Damme says that is not what's going on here. It's a shame that people have to constantly resort to skin pigmentation to explain their confusion or their failures. Now, in the case of Pumzile van Damme, we don't know if there's a failure here or she's simply not happy. As she made public in her tweet, or Twitter account, she said, I'm not going to publicly throw mud at anyone in the DA. There's an election ahead and I won't compromise it for those who are and have worked hard. It's for them I do so. This is my position and made it clear to the leadership. Thank you. And that's all I have to say on the matter. She says, I don't feel like fighting. I won't fight. Even when invited to a fight, I won't. I'm not going to roll in mud. For once, I need peace, and I choose peace instead of war. Let me live my life. Danke. Gigabonga. Well, interesting comments from Pumzile van Damme. And one can only wonder what's really in play here. Why did she resign as a member of parliament? And what is going on? And, and why the confusion? Why did she state on Thursday that she left the party? One can only imagine that this is tied up in some sort of issue that's very emotional for her. And she reacted in an emotional fashion. 
uh, or a, a, a rash fashion, perhaps I should say, on the 20th of May and reconsidered where she was at and then clarified that on the 21st of May. Whatever the case is, uh, the resignation of Pumzi de Vandam will be fodder for the race merchants and the economic freedom fighters and the ANC, whose only purpose in life is to divide people based on skin pigmentation. They'll once again say, see, it's a party of racists, the whites. The mere fact of being white to these vile racists themselves makes you a racist in South Africa, which is ludicrous. And to her credit, Pumzile van Dam has made it clear that this has nothing to do with what's going on. So for that, she should be saluted for her clarity and her honesty. One assume it's honesty, assumes it's honesty. But we are left puzzled by what's going on here. What machinations are going on inside the Democratic Alliance that she felt the need to resign? She's not exactly a junior member of the party. Even at the tender age of just 37, she is quite high up in the party. She's not left the party, according to her clarification statement today on the 21st of May, 2021. But what does the future hold for Pumzi de Fandam? Perhaps after the municipal elections, we'll see. We shall see. A member of parliament, and she stepped aside. Once again, uh, I, I, you know, I'm not, not an advocate of Pumzi de Fandam, also not an opponent. I do find some of the things she say to be somewhat clownish and buffoonish, and some of them be quite uh, on point. Once again, the, the whole slavish devotion and excitement being giddy about getting, convincing Facebook to testify before Parliament. We're the first country in Africa. Well, you know, Facebook should be ordered to come before Parliament if they've done something wrong. And if they don't, they should be decertified for operations in your country. As simple as that. If they won't answer to the authorities in a sovereign state, then they have no business operating in a sovereign state. It's as simple as that. As long as your sovereign state is legitimate. Anyway, she's led the charge against many in the corrupt telecommunications industry, and who knows what her future holds. Best of luck to Pumzile van Dam, and thank you for your honesty, and also thank you for making it clear about what's really happening. But once again, folks, is she in? Is she out? It looks like Pumzile van Dam remains a member of the Democratic Alliance, at least for the moment. Take care, folks. If you're not a subscriber to Chris White Africa, you know what? Become, why not become one? Smash the button right down there. Great content, great analysis, and you will find interesting things here to discover about a host of topics across Africa and around the world. Thanks a lot, folks. Take care.